What are you doing in here? Fucking mask. Why is it taking you so fucking long to take this car off, bud? Shit, I only started 10 minutes no, ago. No, you fucking didn't. It started about three fucking hours ago. Right. And you're still jerking off on taping a fucking car off, bud. About today, like you did the other day? Are you off of your period? Still on your period? Did you got any tampons left or did you fucking use them all, bud? I'm the boss here, dude. I can bitch all I fucking want. Okay? You don't fucking worry about me, bud. So let me ask you this, man. How'd that body work turn out? The final. Huh? Well, the doors look good. Have you ever taped a car off like this? Let's be really honest with each other, bud. Not 60 fucking three. Well, fuck the 65 shit. It's not even a 65 anyway. You don't even know what you look working on here. No. No. Uh, it's got four pieces of rubber. It's called a 1968, okay? Never done now, this is what you would call a concourse style restoration. You've probably never done one of those either, have you, Boomhauer? Especially not. Neither have I, because this is a 60 fucking 8 for the third time. 65. Now, this is what you would call a concourse style restaurant. That's C O N C O R U S. 1962 Dodge Dart. Okay. And the way we did this is a rotisserie style restoration. That means that it's been on the rotisserie, all the rust was fixed professionally and then it was completely overhauled inside and out, painted inside and out. Okay, all the pieces were completely restored back to original. Even the nuts and bolts are back to original, bud. Did you know that, Boomhauer? Do you even know what a concourse restoration is? Because many thought I made that name up, bud. Have you ever heard that expression? Being a fucking professional like you think you are? I'm assuming it ends up with four pieces of rubber underneath. Do you know what a concourse restoration is? You ever heard of that? Because, uh, no, that's not a concourse, that's a concord. That's a condor, bud, condor. You're talking about one of the big birds, a condor bird. Now, you've been taping this thing off for three hours. And this is the way that you have to tape the car off that you've actually restored to this magnitude. Am I right, Boomhauer? Huh? But you're doing a good tape job anyway. Now, let me explain something. When you prime this thing, can I show you a little secret, bud? That tape has got, the paper's gotta be dragging the ground, dude. You know why? Because we can't even get no fucking overspray on the bottom of the car. The owner will stick it in both our fucking asses if there's any flaws on it, okay? Now, I've had a lot of people ask me a question, but I want to see if you know the answer to this. I have a lot of people ask me, why don't you do all the body work and paint the, paint the car while it's on the rotisserie? Do you know why? Because you can't. Hold on, bud, hold on. Can you slow down and say that again, Boomhauer? Flex too much? It flex? Flex? Did you say flex? Yeah. That's right. The body is flexing and twisting, and you can't do that because you have to line all the body panels up as you're going. Am I right? Boom. So next thing I was thinking, I know you're going to hang doors and fenders and hoods and all that shit when you're going to fuck around That's right. But you know, we don't need to be smart asses to people that just want answers. Okay? Can you mumble that just a little one more time, bud, an instant replay? Tell me use common sense. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm going to let you get back to that. I'm going to let you get back to that, and uh, you're doing a great job. Got a lot of body work there. I'm glad this is almost uh, on its final stages. We've been fucking with this thing for a month. If 
I was doing it, if I was doing it, it would only took me a week. You know that, right? So we are on the same time. No, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just said a month. You said a, I said you were a month. I said I was a week. How's that the same fucking frame time? Not being real. Okay, and I'm not. Right? Alright, but keep taping it off. You're doing great. Concourse, restoration, 1968, Dodge, GTS, in the making. Right now, what he's doing is taping it off to a precise measurement that only professionals can do. The tape job on this car is immaculately. It's almost as nice as the car itself is going to be. And Corey's learning that being a professional isn't as easy as he thought it was. Because the professional that he knows is collision repair. Not fucking automobile restoration. So, I hear him mumbling back there. Hold on a second. What's that, bud? Did you say something? I don't fucking know. You would have done what? Okay, that's good. You know what you're gonna do though? You know how we're gonna do it? We're not making fucking cardboard shit, okay? You see, once again, okay, we got the professional collision man using collision ideas on the car. All right. All right, let me, let me say something else. Hold on a minute. We're only gonna have to mask that fucking thing off one more time, dude. So you're telling me you'd go through all the problems and troubles of making cardboard inserts to mask it off one more time, maybe two at the maximum? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Boomhauer, look at the camera a second, bud. Don't fucking worry about it, okay? Nah. Alright. Doing a good job. Keep the fucking up. And don't fucking worry about how it's gonna be done. Just follow my fucking lead and everything will be fine. There you go. You see there? That's what I'm talking about. Right there. So, this is Pete again. And we're in Pete's shop. In Pete's world. And we're getting them done as fast as we can. Talk to you later.